So really, I just wanted to see how this thing works. And I really haven't operated a plasma cutter for more than like 30 seconds in my life until now. I'm not gonna lie, this was slightly scary. <laughs> Obviously I've already operated a plasma CNC table at the other guy's shop that I do some work for at the same thing. I just haven't hand operated one before, so that's why it was scary. But I really just wanted to mess around with the amperage and stuff just to see what kind of stuff I can get and see how fast I can go before it stops cutting. Obviously you could tell it stopped cutting before. Um, yeah, just kind of mess around before I try to run this thing. So now that we know that the actual plasma machine works, let's see if it works with the computer. Sorry if the noise in the background is super loud. The plasma machine is, the fan in there is just going nuts. I guess that's how it's supposed to be. When I put an M3 code in here, that should turn the spindle on. Well, in this case, we don't have a spindle, we have a torch. So the M3 will turn it on and the M5 will turn it off. We'll turn this blue relay on right there and that relay turns on the torch. We got it hooked up through the plasma machine. I got the torch to turn on finally. The problem is I got it to turn on with an M8 code and off with an M9 code. So now I'm back in the back end of Pathpilot trying to figure out what I can do. So the coolant is hooked up to pin 14 IO1. And in the spindle direction is pin 16 and IO5. As I'm doing this, I really have no clue what I'm doing. Just kind of looking around, see if I see anything that's out of the ordinary. So after doing some troubleshooting with the post processor in Fusion 360 and some troubleshooting with the back end of Pathpilot, we finally made some progress. Now I don't have my torch height controller set up, but I have a piece of very flat material over there that I'm just going to run something on because I'm way too excited to try this thing out. So we finally got it to post out from Fusion 360. I'm just gonna do my logo right here because that's the first thing that comes to mind and I kinda wanna make a metal stencil like Jimmy Dressed always has. For For not catching all that, I got kind of nervous seeing as how this is the first time that I've actually ran this thing. It didn't turn out too bad. There's a little bit of a lead in, lead out issues right there. Uh, but the rest of it looks okay. That is pretty freaking sweet right there. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. But it turned out okay. And I am quite alright with that for now. We'll get those lead in, lead out issues fixed and then we'll be good to go. I actually forgot to put the little hold-ins for the, the O's here, which is okay, I don't care. I just wanted to get this thing running, and it did. How awesome is that? So now that I finally have all of this done, and we made a cutting pass, all I have left is the torch height controller and eventually a floating head for the torch mount. Basically what that does, if you don't know, the floating head brings down the torch and it's like acts sort of like on a spring loaded mount and it comes up when it hits the material and it hits a limit switch and then that limit switch tells the controller to okay now back off this amount and then it starts the cutting pass and then the torch height controller just controls the height of the torch as it cuts obviously. This has come a long way since I first started out, a very long way. Definitely been an adventure. Oh, one thing, I should probably put some type of water in this table right here. I know there's some cutting fluid that you can put in there, but I'm not sure if that cutting fluid is okay. Can you just put water in here? I would like to just put water in here because it's free. But, and I'm sure the water will cut down on all the soot and stuff. Take a look at all that stuff down in here. 
this stuff is floating around and you can it's it stinks in here and I would prefer not to have this stuff floating around because I have the CNC machine over there and this one right here with the rails and stuff I mean this stuff it's it's dirty I'm gonna have to wipe down this thing on a regular basis like every time you use it just because it's so dusty and I might close this in over here so we have this garage door here garage door here and I might like wall this off from here and then straight over that way maybe just some like weld curtains or something might help plus maybe I could crack that door a little bit not to mention it's kind of hot in here I don't I have but once again I have it sort of plumbed from that little crack up there with uh, heat and air if need be but still this is the hottest I've seen it 77 degrees 78 percent that's the highest humidity I have seen in here I mean it's hot I mean I guess it just rained today but still anyway enough rambling I'm just overly excited to see this thing done so with all that said I think that's it for now thanks for watching